And here come three women looking to take control. Perhaps the most dominant women's faction in WWE history. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making our way to the ring, representing Damage Control from San Jose, California, the NXT Women's Champion, Bayley. For anybody doubting Bayley's qualifications as a role model, look at what she has done with Damage Control. Io Sky, Dakota Kai, multiple time women's tag team champions. Look, there's no doubt Bayley has been a help for Dakota and Io but she's also used them as shields and basically as backup to do her dirty work. Oh, relax, Saxton. They're simply giving their role model the respect she deserves. Well, she wanted a fight. She got one. Raquel Rodriguez is a pure powerhouse and will take this woman to her limits. Raquel Rodriguez, a massive presence in the women's division. And from Rio Grande Valley, Texas, Raquel Rodriguez. Think about the incredible resume of Raquel Rodriguez. In her first three years, She's been an NXT Women's Tag Team Champion, a Dusty Rhodes Classic winner, an NXT Women's Champion, and a WWE Women's Tag Team Champion. Facing one of the most talented in-ring competitors, but now also has to contend with Bailey's mean streak. Well, she is certainly going to have to tap into her ultra-aggressive side to overcome Bailey. The bell rings, and just look at Raquel Rodriguez, a towering figure in the women's division with fire in her eyes. And don't forget, an ability to completely bulldoze the competition, Cole. Insane power, unreal agility. There's a reason Raquel's able to just lay people out. Absolutely, Corey. Raquel Rodriguez is the real deal. But let's talk about Bailey. She's turned her back on the fans and started only looking out for herself and her own interests. She rejected them so completely that now it's become only booze whenever she enters an arena. And I think those booze only fuel Bailey's inner fire. She figured out that it's better to be successful than to be loved. The fans weren't getting her anywhere, so she moved on and became one of the most intimidating competitors in this entire women's division. All right, back to it, returning to the ring. Ah, oh, look at this, hair pulled neck slam! Escaped just in time. Boom, running STO plants him. Nicely done. Look ringside now, guys. This manager is doing something very suspicious. And an impactful display of offense we just witnessed there. like Bailey, patience is key. Bailey wants to lure you into overexposing yourself and making mistakes. Party's over. Good night. She faked her out. An easy kick out there. She's not going quietly into the good night here, making things very interesting. Unleashing a barrage on their opponent. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. Thunderous belly to back. Raquel said, really? Yeah, Bailey reminding her opponent in the entire WWE Universe that it pays to be serious. No more playing around for Bailey. Enable to counter. Toss back into the ring. Oh, man, just punishing. Would you look at this? She is removing the turnbuckle pad now. Look at this power. What a heck of a ride. If they weren't dazed and confused before, they are now. Oh, she can end it here. And she's not done yet. 
Yeah, she probably knew that cover wouldn't do it. She scurries out of there. Good grief! That's a going head to head, putting each other to the test. McCall interrupts the attack. Looks like a hockey fight's just broken out. Nothing pretty here, just good old fashioned fisticuffs. Both absolutely drained, but both refusing to give up. You can feel the contact, and so does the WWE Universe. Who will break first? That is the question. WWE Universe appreciating these athletes. Don't... Will this be enough? Getting the shoulder up before two. An emphatic kick out, and there's still a lot of game left here. Shoulder tackle. Caught with a clothesline. Just look at Rodriguez taking control here. Carefully attacking when there's not an opening, just like we talked about. Not allowing Bailey to lure her into making mistakes. She shuts it and reverses it. And she gets herself out of a precarious position. Goes into the pin. Two count and they kick out. She is still fighting, still keeping this going. Uh-oh, four going to cut off the win. Dangerous situation, needs to find a way out fast. And she does. Great move. Look at the power of Raquel Rodriguez. Has her opponent up and a gory bar. And you can see why people have labeled Raquel as one to watch. Looking more and more special by the second each time she puts on a display like that. Boom! Slam! With authority. Bailey from up high. Nobody home for that one. Ooh, what a four on club. That's incredible. Club comes down very effective. And the powerhouse Rodriguez taking down her opponent. And a massive clothesline. A couple hard shots there in the corner. Now looking to raise the stakes. Headed up. Corkscrew sent on. That's got to be it. She kicks out with force. A long two and a half in the waning moments of this match. Oh, there's a response against Raquel. Check to the back of the knee. Watch this. Oh, gross plan. That could finish off Raquel. There's two. Bailey scores the victory. Here is your winner. This was quite the win for Bailey here tonight. Raquel Rodriguez was put away tonight. A tough loss. Sometimes the hardest part is accepting the defeat psychologically.
This dude is one of the most impressive young superstars we've seen. Braun Breaker on a meteoric rise in WWE. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Woodstock, Georgia. Weighing in at 230 pounds. Braun Breaker! Absolute power, absolute aggression. This kid's the real deal. I agree, Cole. He's already more than living up to his family pedigree. Technique, drive, on paper, all the attributes of a top talent. Yeah, Braun Breaker just seems destined for very big things. Here comes the lone wolf. And his opponent from Kansas City, weighing in at 285 pounds, Baron Corbin! Baron Corbin's been a king, a jester, an authority figure, even a bum. Yeah, but now Corbin is truly himself. No more gimmicks. Is this man truly ready for Braun Breaker, a superstar who is bred for success? The bell rings, and guys, you can just see the intensity in Braun Breaker's eyes, can't you? Absolutely, Cole. Breaker always brings a powerful mix of strength and intensity to the ring. And tonight should be no different. He's like a dog with a bone when he gets going. Like father, like son, some could say. But across the way is the new and improved Baron Corbin. After many tribulations, Corbin has rediscovered his edge and reforged himself. He's done messing around and demands to be both feared and respected by his fellow superstars. Yeah, Corbin is now a man with a purpose. He's a driven and merciless individual who sees every match as a chance to put his foot down. And a driven Baron Corbin makes for one scary opponent. Hoist it all the way up and down. No muss, no fuss on that delivery. Someone clearly doesn't want this match to go on much longer than it has to. Oh, kick right to the back. Over and over, repeated waistlock takedowns. Being able to pull that off, no one is going to question if you skip going to the gym today. Counters, this could be an opportunity. Oh, clothesline. A oh, bear hug. Bear hug. Well placed elbow. We'll get you out of it. That might be enough. Yes, it is. Gotta find a way to get out of this. Check your face it. That could be it. And he gets the shoulder up before two. He has certainly.
clearly sending a message, getting his shoulder up before two. And that was an efficient form of offense with that move. Just doing anything they can to chip away at the base. These two battling to a dead heat with these reversals. STO takedown. Yeah, you're he right to the midsection. Setting them up for the Falcon Arrow. Going way up high. Perched up top. A diving knee drop. He's taking some good hits. Yeah, that's the kind of offense that opens people's eyes to Baron. Reversal from Braun. Scoop slam, but from behind, inverted DDT connects. Taking a moment to get pumped off of this crowd's incredible energy. Crash, look. And he goes for the pin. Yes, and Braun Breaker takes it. Here is your winner, Braun. A statement victory for Braun Breaker. A very intimidating showing from Braun Breaker. Looking very dominant in this one. I got a feeling this match is going to be too sweet.
one of the most dominant and decorated teams in the world. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, accompanied by Michi at a combined weight of 505 pounds. Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson, the OC. We all know the OC loves to have a good time, but the one thing they might love even more is getting into a good old fashioned fight. Yeah, they brawled all over the world and sometimes with each other. The OC never sleeps on a good fight. The OC looking ready to get to work. Get to work in that ring and then get into a few cold ones after all said and done. That is the OC way. The raid has arrived. And their opponents, accompanied by Valhalla, at a combined weight of 552 pounds, the NXT Tag Team Champions, Ivar and Eric, the Viking Raiders. Hard to stop this in terms of spectacle. An effective intimidation tactic. Vikings were smart warriors. They're waging a mental war. Well, it's working, because I'm pretty scared. And nobody's surprised at that. If there's glory to be won, they'll burn this whole place to the ground to get it. For many, the day the Viking Raiders graced their arena was the most important day of their life. But for the Raiders, it was Monday. That's the bell, and the OC is here, set for action. There are really no egos in the OC, guys. They love to fight and then have a good time outside the ring. That's what happens when you spend as much... Oh, and soon we could be seeing a submission here. Oh. Muscling his way out of the submission. Had that one scouted. Oh, my goodness. Dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. And we just saw some serious offense. Able to avoid there. Good old gut punch. Nasty. And Ivar with a wherewithal to counter. There he goes, right into the corner. Ooh, what an elbow. A barrage of elbows. Over and over again. Shoulders down. And there's the save. Let's keep fighting. Gets tagged in. Oh, he's got him up high. The fallaway slam. It couldn't have felt good being chucked around like that. And he barely evades. Oh, the physicality on display there. Unbelievable. Jarring impact. That's how you wear down your opponent. Cranking the head. Ivar gets out of there. DDT! Oh! That kick will stop you in your tracks. He's getting fired up now, really feeding off this crowd. Manages to fight out. 
with a series of punches. Hooking it up here. What's next? Pump handle suplex. He needs to find his way back into the ring. The count just keeps going up. He is delivering elbow after elbow. Oh, come on. Double count out. This one just spiraled out of control. Here comes a high-flying feeder. This is going to be fun to watch. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Jersey in the Channel Islands, weighing in at 182 pounds, Nathan Frazier. Nathan Frazier, a standout of NXT UK, one of the most entertaining competitors in the history of that brand. And he's brought that same energy to the U.S. and the entire WWE Universe. He's about to see it right about now. Keep your eyes on the skies when Nathan Frazier competes. I agree, Byron. This dude is fun to watch, and he is unstoppable once he gets going. And his athletics are unmatched. Skills and without a doubt, a phenomenal performance. And his opponent, representing the OC from Gainesville, Georgia, weighing in at 218 pounds, the phenomenal AJ Styles. AJ Styles is an athlete whom many would argue possesses the best all around skill set in WWE. Styles has an unmatched drive to win. Undeterred passion, fire, and desire. And we're going to see it on display tonight, courtesy of the Phenomenal One. You know, being known as Phenomenal, that's just the beginning. Well, anytime AJ Styles is in the ring, you have to almost assume that it's going to turn into an instant classic. Yeah, another one's imminent tonight. starts we can see that signature confident calculating look in AJ Styles eyes the mind of Styles has always been one of his most impressive features more often than not he's able to think two or three steps ahead of his opponent that type of foresight is what makes AJ such an obstacle for anyone to overcome in the ring and we'll see if he's ready for the shoulders down this could be it gets the shoulder up. wow 
What's it going to take? Loose cover leads to a strong kick out. Getting him into the corner. Splash. Oh my goodness. There's the. Oh, and back of the elbow. Standing moonsault. Adding a little flair to a damage and impact. Quite the showmanship. We've seen AJ get surprised once or twice. Watch out! Somersault plancha! Like a heat-seeking missile hit the target right on the mark. Now that's a bell ringer. The competition did not look impressed by AJ's acclaim there. Yeah, Nathan put that right on target. Side Russian leg sweep. And now Styles is under immense pressure. AJ's got to assert himself back in this one. Kick to the midsection prevents the attack. He's testing fate here in danger. Yes, he didn't come here to watch him boast in time. Hooked up. Oh, shit breaker. Ooh, impactful knee drop. What elevation. AJ on the receiving end. Cobra Clutch. The Cobra Clutch is in trouble here. A couple of elbows to the jaw, and that'll break things up. Styles looking for it. And, and gets to the ropes. That's going to force the break. AJ is honing in. Uh oh. And he's able to counter. Uh oh, he could be looking for a submission here. And the ropes save him there. But will he be able to last much longer? Into the corner. This can't be good. Counter. And now there's an opening. Well placed elbow to break up the maneuver. Uh oh. Back and forth. Up and over. The pendulum beginning to shift. Boom! This superstar is something else. Frazier may be thinking high risk. Frazier up top with the frog splash. Nice. And Nathan Frazier capitalized with that move. A big reward for him there. Almost inhuman at this point. He's going for it all. If this lands, it's over. Fails to hit the bullseye. It's huge. Effectively using the knee. Ooh, what a nasty kick. Insulting. Oh, man, Nathan is bleeding now. He's on his heels a bit now. If you can dream of a wrestling maneuver, AJ can likely do it better than your imagination. Heads outside, but this one has to end in the ring. Oh, tossed hard into the ring post. Front face lock applied. Final cut. Three. On AJ caught him. Big time knee rocks his opponent. Slip play. Nicely done. Mm -hmm. Six. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Seven. Getting dangerously close to our desk. That's it. I'm out of here. Back in the ring now. Gets the win. Here is your winner, the phenomenal AJ Styles. The out of the ring count getting the best of them tonight. I hate a count up. I feel cheated, and I know the WWE Universe feels cheated.
I challenge you to find a more impressive young talent. Very skilled, but also very arrogant. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, Austin Theory. Who could forget when Austin Theory beat John Cena at WrestleMania? And in case you forget, I'll remind you every time. When you have a rise like Theory has, every match presents a major test in your career. Oh, and he's passed every one of those tests so far. Unfortunately, there are too many doubters and haters who fail to realize just how talented Austin is. He's facing an amazingly talented rookie in the form of Logan Paul. So I hope he treats Paul as the real threat that he is. Here comes the double champion. And his opponent from Cleveland, Ohio, weighing in at 205 pounds, the WWE United States Champion and the WWE Intercontinental Champion, Logan Paul. I can't imagine the amount of pressure he's feeling carrying around two championships. Yeah, the pressure is on when you have one title. But with two, it has to be immense. We have never seen a landscape this competitive, and yet he stands before us holding multiple championships. No one's in his league, and he's got the hardware to prove it. Two championships. You better believe all eyes are on him. Superstar who loves to get under his opponent's skin, loves to just grind their gears. Look, Cole, Theory can't help it if he's just so preternaturally talented that it makes everyone else jealous. They're just embarrassing themselves, getting so worked up about it, and Theory just so happens to take pleasure in embarrassing his opponents. Yeah, tonight should be no different for Theory. And he'll take on Logan Paul. But if he's expecting a cakewalk, he better think again. No kidding, Logan Paul's shown himself to be an absolute natural. From the top! Surprise. Yeah. Takes their breath out. Effective counter. Good timing with that reversal. And Theory able to adapt. Look ringside now, guys. This manager is doing something very suspicious. Big clothesline. I can't believe I'm even asking this, but Corey, what would you consider the ideal strategy to take on Logan Paul in this matchup? I'll answer without the condescension, Cole. The key is utilizing your veteran advantage. End of the day, while Paul may be a megastar, he's not a WWE superstar. Even with his boxing prowess, even with all the tutelage he... Achilles lock. Picks the leg into the... Oh, Achille... uh, the pressure on the left knee. He's trying to fight it. He's trying to break out and does it. Oh, 
wicked kick to the lower back. And Theory was unable to outmaneuver that hit. Yeah, but you can't count anyone out yet. This match could still go either way. In the corner. Goes without save, but a leg injury will hamper your ability to do just about anything. He's turning the tables. Man. match off the mat now. Where the fight catches nothing but air. Does the official not see him removing the turnbuckle pad? Keep your voice down. Tensions remain high as this rivalry goes on. Talk about an understatement, Cole. Tensions are just high. Guard cover. Two. He kicks out at two. He just won't give up. It's going to be interesting. Kicked in the midsection. Oh, look at this. Attacks him. Move that clinch it for Theory. Cover. Two count. Man, that has got to feel good. Sweet, sweet victory. Here is your winner, Austin Theory. It's a losing effort tonight for Logan Paul. Theory came out here determined to prove a point. And prove a point he did. Showing them all how the now does it. Here comes Gallus. A group of true Scottish hooligans. The following is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, accompanied by Wolfgang at a combined weight of 486 pounds. Mark Coffey and Joe Coffey Gallus. The recklessly dangerous team of Gallus looking focused tonight. There's no telling what sort of damage they'll deal out in this match. <laughs> Gentlemen, I have a four-word prediction for tonight. Gallus boys on top. Here comes trouble. The Judgment Day has arrived. One of the most dominant groups in WWE. And their opponents, accompanied by Rhea Ripley, at a combined weight of 439 pounds, the SmackDown Tag Team Champions and the NXT Tag Team Champions, Finn Balor and Damian Priest, the Judgment Day. The Judgment Day have become a well-oiled machine of brutality. The Judgment Day can beat you in so many ways. The numbers game, brute force, or pure 
intimidation. Yeah, basically, they become of one mind, a singular focus of dominance. A win for one is a win for all, and they all will win tonight. The Judgment Day truly at the height of their powers. Their accolades continue to grow. Yeah, their list of victims continues to grow as well, Michael. They want to be feared and respected. Well, I don't respect them, but I definitely fear them. There's the bell, and Gallus looks ready to unleash their brand of bold and daring offense. Yeah, and at times, they are downright brash, Michael. There are no pleasantries about the way they attack their opponents, no matter who the unfortunate team is to meet them in the ring. I wouldn't want to meet them in the pub either, Byron. And then we've got the ever-intimidating Judgment Day. They have all the tools they need at their disposal. Power, technical ability, and ruthlessness and they function impressively well as a unit. The Judgment Day knows how to stick to a plan and always keep the upper hand inside the ring. Oh, just gouging the face. That's not right. That was showing great awareness of positioning, placing yourself between the ref and your opponent. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. On oh, the basement drop kick. Attack director right onto a vulnerable Mark Coffey. Yeah, Balor putting his big match expertise to work there, making it look just effortless. What a forearm. A oh, straight forearm. Tag. Tags made. This is classic tag team wrestling. Double team in effect. Ooh -hoo. Perfect chemistry on the same page. And that was an effective attack, guys. The clothesline will send his opponent all the way to the outside, and he's about to join him. And he's able to reverse. Come on now. What is this manager bringing out? He should revoke his license for this. Isolating the leg. Leg breaker. Whip back into the ring. Larian. He's absorbing some tough hits now. Yeah, this is exactly why constant, frequent tags are so important in a match like this to keep fresh. there. Rocked his opponent. Now, ah, clubbing blow to the back. <laughs> right to the kidneys from behind. Ah, oh, targeting the arm. This has got to hurt. Hard to grab or apply a proper hold after a move like that. Applied. Butterfly suplex. The pressure got to Balor there. We'll see if he can rally. Answer that with the knee to the gut. Oh, golly. Two feet to the chest. Going to be woozy after that impact. 
And he was able to turn that around on Balor. Look at the height. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. And Balor full control here. 1916. Did Finn clinch this? Cover. And he makes the save for his team. Way in time. Left hook. Stiff elbow will break that up. Double leg takedown. Rushing double stop. The WWE Universe matching Balor's energy here as this match continues. Got the tag. Got the tag. And he gets delivered back into the ring. Uh-oh. Carefully measured. Oh, man! Leg drop arm breaker. Getting set up for something in the corner. put on him there. This is what the purpose of a tag team is. Don't be afraid to use the resources and help your partner offers. Am I being diplomatic enough, Cole? Oh, man! What a nasty STO. Control in there. Oh, look at his aggression, just oh. pure brutality. Come on, easy. He's getting up, but there's danger in front of him. Oh! Oh, just completely off target there. A totally ill-advised decision there. Maybe slight hesitation there caused the outcome. This one is close to coming to a head. Ripped in the hard way. He caught him right on the nose. Oh, a huge double stomp to the core. Oh, flipping the script on him there. Joe anticipated that. Got went low with a drop kick to the knee. Partner tags in. Talking trash. Forearms to the face.
is clearly hit hard by this loss. Two minds working as one in the ring to create magic. It is a beautiful thing to witness, gentlemen. The Almighty is here. The following contest is a triple threat match. Making his way to the ring from Colorado Springs, Colorado, weighing in at 273 pounds, the Almighty Bobby Lashley. We've seen it so many times. When that bell rings, Bobby Lashley flips a switch. And on display, we witness his frightening intensity. I mean, frightening power as well, Byron. Everything about Bobby Lashley is just intimidating. A true rock star entrance. There is an electric feeling in this arena. Undeniable energy to his arrival. Setting the stage for what's to come next. And his opponents, first from Kyoto, Japan, weighing in at 220 pounds, Shinsuke. The king of strong style is ready for action. His renowned striking ability, his MMA background. If you come at the king, you best not miss. Especially when the king can hit back. Shinsuke Nakamura has become more villainous and more nefarious. Well, Shinsuke has finally become the main event star we knew he would be. He's back at NXT. A man who has completely transformed himself mentally and physically. Really uh, went through a resurgence and a rebirth when he returned to NXT. Had a new attitude. McIntyre now laser focused. 
continues to dominate everything in his path. And from Ayer, Scotland, weighing in at 254 pounds, the Scottish warrior, Drew The Scottish warrior has earned every bit of respect he is given. He's transformed from the chosen one to a real life fire breathing dragon. Yeah, the WWE is the Scottish warrior's battleground and he will go face to face with absolutely anyone. Triple Threat always a challenging matchup for any superstar. Action underway now with Bobby Lashley, Shinsuke Nakamura, and Drew McIntyre. All three superstars will have to keep their head on the swivel. Oh, what a kick. Able to get the advantage here. Punishing their opponent. Loving blow to the chest. He went right into that turnbuckle. the answer for Nakamura. Back elbow. Dropped him with a big shoulder tackle. Elbow drop. Piercing. Oh, he knew what was coming. McIntyre looking highly motivated right now. Oh, uh, decapitator. Hold on a second. Could be a matter of time. Submission. He breaks the hold. with a crucial elbow. McIntyre reverses and looks to capitalize. Great presence of mind by McIntyre. Oh, look at the double team here. Uh-oh. Double flapjack. You know the old saying about the enemy of my enemy? I think we just saw that play out. I'd have to think that a no disqualification match favors the most heartless competitor in the ring. Well, that's mostly true, but even the most rule-abiding superstars have risen to the occasion of a no-disqualification match. When there are no rules, there's no wrong and right. Effective arm drag. Followed up by another to the chest. Incapacitating the shoulder. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. The better part of Valor. Lashley did not look ready for his opponent there. Yeah, as Drew already bringing the fight there. Side slam. Nice. Just breaking down the opponent. And he said, you're not getting me with that this time. A defensive elbow to the gut ends that. by the turnbuckles. Good defense. Shinsuke Nakamura landed one there. That did not look good, and Shinsuke has started to bleed. Oh, saw it coming. Scouting pays off against Nakamura. He can end it here. He breaks the pin. Future Shock DDT! The Future Shock DDT! That might be all Drew needs. Wrenches the arm. Ooh, nasty kick. Oh, what a kick. Last 
purposely avoids impact. And he sends him into the corner. Ouch. Equalizer at hand, and he's just goading his opponent to make the first move. Neck breaker. McIntyre turns things around. Great strength being shown here. Oh, God, face first. He's able to sidestep there. Snap in the neck. Oh, man, he is more than fired up right now. victory in this triple threat match there's a reason this is called a triple threat match gentlemen and these three superstars just showed us all why The referee starting the matchup. Oh, and that's oh, what they get going. And the referee's down already. The match just started. And fist the cuffs from the opening bell. This thing's going to get ugly. And can the match continue? The ref took a nasty fall. We knew this was going to get out of hand. I didn't realize it was going to happen this quickly. We need to restore some sort of order. The bell rings coming right off the heels of some underhanded tactics. We all know just how much a calculated attack like that could affect the course of this match. Getting a leg up on the competition is the name of the game, Saxton. Work smarter, not harder. He sit out powerbomb. Oh! Look at this, just unloading. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. And perhaps that size disadvantage coming into play there as Dragunov is put on the defensive. Sharp elbows to the body, looking to fight his way out. Roman is in the zone and letting the opposition know it. There is some power behind that punch. And that holds Dragunov back. position. Oh, right to the throat. Stomping. Ouch. Look at this. Just unloading. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Oh, my. Sent flying. 
I've seen Saxon thrown out of a few local bars like that before. No, please don't remind me, Corey. He's looking a little weary now. Reigns doing all he can to keep his seat at the head of the table secure. Delivering nasty stomps. No respect being shown whatsoever with those stomps. Uncorks another one. Facing Roman Reigns is truly one of the toughest tests there is here in WWE. What's the best way to pass? Get ready to go long and keep the... Is it enough? The cover! Two! No, he gets the shoulder up. Both competitors digging deep into their well to keep the... The Tribal Chief has acquired the target. This ends now. Quick thinking pays off. Measured knee drop. Look at this, just crank in the head. That's got to hurt. Just cranking the head. This could be big. Driving a forearm into the jaw. Good night. Makes the cover. He kicks out somehow. Reigns able to get his shoulder up, and I don't know how many more times he can do that tonight. And Dragunov can't let this get to his head. He needs to keep going. Needs to keep fighting. Destroying his opponent. Uh-oh. He turns it around. Uh-oh. An attempt underway, but the ref is still distracted. This is where great cardio makes all the difference, helping you stay alive deep into the match. Sleeper hold cinched it. And breaks out of the sleeper. and it pays off in full. Dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. Oh, and Ilya turns the tables. And continuing to punish their opponent with a German. And that was the unrelenting competitiveness of Ilya Dragunov in full effect. No love lost between these superstars right now, really trying to prove who the better man truly is. And he slides him back to the mat. Busted Roman Reigns open. The cover! Oh, not yet. They just got the shoulder up. Holy moly! Reigns' toughness on display with that kick out. And Dragunov realizing he'll have to come back twice as strong for the next one. And we know the mad Russian will. Up high! Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Plucked out of the air. with them, clearly trying to force him in. No! Suicide dive! Just a devil-may-care attitude on full display. Going for broke, and it pays off. Oof. Oh! Oh! Oh, look at a torch of their opponent! Uh-oh, this isn't going to be good! Vicious right forearm. Close line. Oh, 
foot just stomping down. Just punched him right in the mouth. Relentless. Right in the face. My God. Oh, no. Trapping the arm. A vicious stomps to the hand. Taking flight. Elbow drop to the heart. The big dog is unleashed. And Roman... Roman Reigns, he's going to put him away. No getting up from... Spear! Will that stop Dragunov? Cover! One, two count. That's it. The blood and sweat put into this match. Well worth it. Here is your winner. Roman Reigns! Despite less than legal efforts to defeat them, they are standing tall now. I'll give them one thing. They definitely know how to take a beating. I wouldn't exactly call the cheap shot they took a beating, but I'll agree that their resilience paid off here. Chelsea Green, Piper Niven, two women who are not here to make friends. Who needs friends when you're destined for greatness like they are? The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall. On the way to the ring, the team of Piper Niven and Chelsea Green. Green and Niven possess a continuity that borders the unorthodox, but when they focus on the same target, they get the job done. Yeah, they're united by their desire to rule the women's division at any cost and make the entire WWE universe miserable. Piper Niven, Chelsea Green, ready to put the women's division on notice. An amazing blend of physical dominance and top-level trash talk. Piper and Chelsea can't be stopped. Somehow, their energy's already turned up to 11. Okay, let's go, let's go! Yeah, yeah! Oh, oh, yeah! You know, Carter and Chance were a team long before NXT even had a women's tag team division. And it's paid off because this team is the team to beat in all of WWE. And we have action here with the self-proclaimed future WWE Hall of Famers, Chelsea Green and Piper Niven. And frankly, 
I'm just happy they're not at the commentary table with us tonight. Or bite your tongue, Matthew. The duo of Green and Niven has proven to be a wrecking shop here in the women's tag team division. Given the dynamic of the team, Green and Niven are difficult to prepare for. The one thing for sure is they'll have something up their sleeve. Well, they're standing across the ring from a team that's already gotten the party started. Caden Carter and Katana Chance. Flips and tricks, here we come. That's kind of an understatement, Corey. Jaw-dropping offense, tandem moves we've never seen before. That's what Carter and Chance are all about. They love to have fun in and out of the ring, and we're about to witness that yet again. She said flying into the corner. Gotta hurt. You can see the intent behind that attack. Exploiting the arm must be the strategy here. Each and here's a cover. Shoulder up and the referee ends the count. Still in it. Niven avoids the attack. A clothesline in the corner finds its target. These two trading counters, an absolute master class. <laughs> what a forearm! She just rocked Piper there, managing to shake the powerhouse. Whoa! That was a powerbomb with... She could pin her opponent right here. Gets the shoulder up. Able to squeeze that shoulder out. So close. This competitor has such a deep arsenal, we're about to see more of it. Springboard, head scissor, incredible. No, no, no. Suicide dive. Soaring out of the ring, looking to do as much damage as possible. Oh, I hope they back up. They're, they're getting too close for comfort. Oh, no one's paying attention to you, Saxon. They're too busy beating the tar out of each other. And Piper is failing to offer any resistance here. Yeah, Katana is really grinding the opposition down. What are they going to do here? Leg snap! A hurricane route. It's incredible, the inventiveness we are seeing on display here. The pure malice inside the ring right now is so potent, you can feel it in the air. No question these superstars have nothing but contempt for one another. The entire WWE Universe has been unable to keep their eyes off this feud. Can you blame them? Every time they clash, it's a highlight-worthy moment. And that was a rough landing from that toss. Just got thrown around like a sack of the you-know-what. So she tags in. Chelsea on the receiving end. Round and round into the... Satellite DDT. She's on unsteady legs in the corner. Needs to recover. What a counter by Chelsea. Horse forearm draped across the middle rope. Katana's confidence has to be rocked after that. Yeah, and you can see the intensity growing with Green. She manages to get control. Boom! Just using their foot as a weapon. So ruthless. And here's a cover. She was close to the end there. No celebrations yet. Tagged into action. She's getting fired up, ready to show her opponent what she's got. Tossed into the corner. Wicked clothesline. Now 
Tagging her in.
change your career. Here are your winners. The team of Katana Chance and Kaden Carter. So Chelsea Green and Piper Niven missed the mark tonight. This is going to light a serious fire under Niven and Green. These women hate losing.